Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Looks like we've got a little bit of snow coming down. This morning, our story is going to be about Jesus healing the sick. Here's the storybook for you to see. One of the um, people that Jesus healed were lepers. And in the Bible, the word leprosy stands for a variety of skin diseases. Lepers lived apart from the community to prevent the spreading of the infection. They had to wear torn clothes and cry, unclean, unclean, to ensure that no one approached them. Yet Jesus was not afraid to touch the leper when he came to him to be cured. The news of Jesus' teaching had spread throughout the land, and wherever he went, he was followed by vast crowds. One day in Capernaum, a leper came up to Jesus saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can cure me. Moved by compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched him. I am willing, be clean. Instantly, the man saw that his legs and arms were whole and his skin unmarked. Go on your way, said Jesus. Show yourself to a priest. He will offer sacrifice and declare you cured, but tell no one else about what happened. But the leper was so overjoyed at being cured that he described the miracle to everyone he met. Soon Jesus was unable to walk down the street without being surrounded by dozens of eager followers. Later, Jesus was preaching in a house so full of people that there was hardly room to breathe. Four men arrived at the house, carrying a stretcher on which lay a man who was completely paralyzed. Realizing that they had no hope of entering by the door, they went up to the roof. There they made a hole through which they lowered the invalid. Jesus looked at the man and said, my son, your sins are forgiven. But some Pharisees and Jewish leaders overheard these words. Among themselves, they accused Jesus of insulting God. They thought this man had no right to take upon himself such authority. Only God could forgive sin. Jesus, knowing what was in their mind, said, Why do you think badly of me? Do you believe that I do not have the right to forgive sins? Which is, which is easier, to forgive this man's sin or to make him walk? But so that you will know that I have the power to forgive sins, pausing, he turned to the paralyzed man and said, get up, take your bed and go home. Speechless, the man got up at once and returned to his house. The crowds had seen the miracle, talked excitedly, and went away praising God. We have never seen anything like this, they said. So I'm going to show you the picture once more. And that's the craft you're going to be doing today about the paralyzed man. Take care. Hope to see you soon. Bye.